Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss some important questions about HIV. We have discussed a lot of questions in previous videos. You can watch the previous videos from playlist and links are there in description box. You can watch from there also. And if you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe. Let us start. Question number 1. During this phase, the person becomes infected and the virus is active. It is attacking T cells and slowly weakening immune system. The infected person feels well and healthy. The phase is option A asymptomatic phase 1, option B symptomatic phase 2, option 3 phase 3 AIDS and option D all of the above. The correct answer is option A asymptomatic phase 1. During this phase the person become infected and the virus is active and it is attacking, attacking T cells and slowly weakening the immune system but the person remains healthy. Question number 2. In individuals with HIV, opportunistic infections are Option A, more frequent Option B, less frequent Option C, non-existent And Option D, none of the above Opportunistic infections in HIV patients are Option A, more frequent The correct answer is Option A, more frequent Question number 3. The recommended storage temperature of most of the HIV diagnostic kits is Option A 0 to 1 degree Celsius Option B 2 to 8 degree Celsius Option C minus 30 degree Celsius Option D minus 70 degree Celsius The correct answer is Option B 2 to 8 degree Celsius. The recommended storage temperature of most of the HIV diagnostic kits is 2 to 8 degree Celsius. Question number 4. Which of the following is an important molecule present in the outer membrane of HIV that helps the virus to enter and infect host cells? Option A. Polysaccharides. Option B. Glycoproteins. Option C. Proteins. Option D. Lipopolysaccharides. The correct answer is option B. Glycoproteins. And the glycoproteins are surface glycoproteins and transmembrane glycoproteins. Question number 5. The first ever instance of AIDS was reported in Option A USA, Option B France, Option C Russia, Option D none of the above. The correct answer is Option A. USA. The first ever instance of AIDS was reported in USA but the first case identified was in Congo that is in North Africa. Question number 6. How does HIV become AIDS? Option A. HIV attacks the T cells. Option B. HIV makes multiple copies of itself. Option C. HIV destroys cells in the body. Option D. All of the ABO. The correct answer is option D, all of the ABO. HIV attacks T cells, then makes multiple copies of itself and then destroys the cells of the body. Question number 7. HIV infects option A, Y helper cells, option B, T helper cells, option C, K helper cells, option D, none of the ABO. HIV infects which of the following helper cells? The correct answer is option B, T helper cell. HIV infects T helper cells. Quiz number 8. HIV testing strategy 3 is used for option A, surveillance, option B, blood bank, option C, ICTC or PPTCT, option D, AIDS. HIV testing strategy 3 is used for which of the following? The correct answer is option C, ICTC or PPTCT. HIV testing stra strategy 3 is used for asymptomatic patients. Question number 9. The blood specimen is rejected for HIV testing and another requested if the following occur. Option A, the blood is hemolyzed. Option B, if the sample while is leaking and visibly contaminated. Option C, the specimen is improperly labeled. And option D, 
all of the above. In which of these conditions we will reject the blood specimen for HIV and requesting another. The correct answer is option D. All of the above. In all of the following conditions we have to take a new sample for the test. Question number 10. Which of the following test is the screening test usually done for HIV diagnosis? Option A. ELISA. Option B. PCR or viral load test. Option C. VDRL. And option D. Western blood test. Which of the following is the test usually done for HIV diagnosis? The correct answer is option A. ELISA. ELISA is the common test done for HIV diagnosis. Case number 12. Antiretroviral therapy starts in HIV positive patients when the CD4 count is option A less than 200, option B more than 250, option C more than 500, option D irrespective of CD4 count. The correct answer is option D irrespective of CD4 count. ART starting in HIV positive patients is irrespective of CD4 count. Question number 12. Which of the following is not a sexually transmitted disease? Option A. Chlamydial infection. Option B. Hepatitis E virus infection. Option C. Human papilloma virus infection. Option D. HIV. The correct answer is option B. Hepatitis E virus. Hepatitis E virus is transmitted through contaminated food and water. So it is the correct answer. Question number 13. Eighth day is celebrated every year on option A December 1st, option B June 1st, option C December 20th, option D 20th May. The correct answer is option A December 1st. Eighth day is celebrated every year on December 1st. Question number 14. AIDS stands for option A acute infectious disease syndrome, option B acute immunodeficiency syndrome, option C aggressive infectious disease syndrome, option D none of the above. The correct answer is option B acute immunodeficiency syndrome. AIDS stands for acute immunodeficiency syndrome. Question number 15. Which of the following bacterial infections is predominant in chronic HIV infected patients or in AIDS? Option A. Pneumocystis carinii pneumonia. Option B. Tuberculosis. Option C. Candidiasis. Option D. Toxoplasmosis. Which of the following conditions is predominant in AIDS patients? The correct answer is option B. Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is predominant in chronic HIV infections. Question number 16. One of the following is false with respect to the HIV testing and reporting process. Option A. Testing must follow informed voluntary return consent from the patient. Option B. Must be accompanied by pre and post test counseling. Option C. Must be done as per the NACO HIV testing strategies and guidelines. Option D. The results may be conveyed on phone or by fax. The correct answer is option D. HIV test results may be conveyed on phone or by fax. It is false regarding HIV testing and reporting process. The, the results must be conveyed to the patient directly. Today we are winding up. You can watch the previous videos from playlist. If you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel. Thank you.